Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna talk about HBO Max, Warner Discovery, and uh, you know Sesame Street. I guess now Sesame Street is is getting chopped over at HBO Max. And uh, I don't think it's because R Rosita's racist. No. <laughs> I, I think there are other reasons for it, but it just seems very haphazard how they're chopping content at HBO Max. Again, people are like, HBO Max is gonna be fine. I'm like, no, uh, no, it really isn't. And then we're gonna do an update on the uh, Cartoon Network series that were, were uh, chopped mm -hmm. from the platform uh, yesterday, unceremoniously. We had people you know, jumping in the comments yesterday and being like, well, everybody knew that Everybody knew that animation wasn't important to David Zaslav. Why are you surprised? We I'm weren't like, surprised. Nobody was surprised. We're supporting the news. Nobody was surprised that it wasn't important going forward that they would cancel shows and all that. We, we expected that. Nobody expected, including Cartoon Brew, nobody expected them to just yank a bunch of stuff off oh, the Oh, yeah, that already was done. That doesn't it was make already sense. Done. That just seems like that this like content to sit there. That that's just more like, hmm. Like yeah. things that make you go, hmm. Yeah, so Why we're gonna talk about uh, you know, do an update on that and talk about, you know, some possible, possible reasoning um that's being circulated. It has to do with royalties uh, and residuals and uh, them not wanting to pay it. Again, it's all rumor and speculation at this point, but Let's talk about Sesame Street first. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, over 274,000 subs. Ooh. Thank you for the support. Speaking of support, coming this weekend, Crimson Ren, Volume 1. Uh, go out to Indiegogo, sign up to be notified when we go live. It is a 1980s style adventure from Clownfish Studios. Uh, it we're is. doing comics. We're doing more comics. We haven't done comics in a long time. Mm -mm. And we're going to be doing a bunch more going forward, hopefully. Hopefully. A bunch of ideas. Hey, yeah. even the kids have an idea they're working on, which I think is hilarious. That is hilarious. All that right. could be adult comic, though. <laughs> so the so kids bad. are working on adult comics. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> that's a plot of an anime. There's an anime. I forget what it's called, but there's like a little girl that's doing like dirty manga. It's not that kind of... That's not what I mean by adult. Hentai. I just meant it's like, no! I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like, it's more like a bloody type thing. Yeah, that's very adult. Anyway, <laughs> and when we're talking kids, we're talking teenagers. We're not talking like our toddlers are drawing <laughs> yeah. porn. No. no, I'm not even saying. Would you stop with it? Because that's not even what it is. Now you ruined it. Way I didn't to go. ruin it. It's actually, it's actually a very good idea. Good anyway, job. let's talk about uh, your childhood being ruined. Um, but too late. They listened to you. Uh, Sesame <laughs> Street. They they yanked uh, 200 episodes of Sesame Street off. Now here's the thing. Wait. No wait. <laughs> wait. Wait. No. Off it's the, your fault. Off the I air. Had, my mind was nowhere near that, and you always have to take it back to that. Now you definitely ruined their childhood because now they can't they hear anything. But Sesame Street got yanked. Okay. Anyway. The, there were all the all the episodes with Bert. Maybe Ernie. Oscar would be happier. He might be. Anyway, 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 so yeah, I want to talk about Sesame Street here real quick. We talked about the Rosita situation at Sesame Place and all that. She got yanked too. She, she did. Uh, Sesame Sesame Street back in the day. I can't even think now. Sesame Street back in the day was actually kind of edgy, and it was very urban, and it was actually it didn't insult adult intelli intelligence. And then Elmo came along, and when Elmo came along. It just became very, very juvenile. Like it was originally designed for older kids, like elementary school. So many jokes kids. in there about Elmo and juvenile and uh, yeah. the original puppeteer. But anyway. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you gotta watch uh, where you stick your hand. Um, keep your hands to yourself there, Elmo. Anyway, um, you know, once Elmo came in, it became a very preschool, very juvenile. But it was show. for preschool. No, it was actually for older kids. Originally, it was it was for kids that were like, you know, kindergarten, first grade, second grade to play catch up with uh, kids that had access to better education. Okay, but that's still considered early childhood. It's early childhood, but it's, it's not all, even baby. It's not a baby show. It's like a baby show. Preschool up till like second grade is early childhood. Right, but it, I mean, go back and watch the original episodes, and you'll see that it it was a, it was smarter. I think it was a smarter show than it is now. It's been really. Dumbed down. I wonder why kids today are so or aren't as uh, you know as uh, audited as other kids when we were kids. Yeah, I it, it was it was it was. You no, know, you seen some of those kids have to solve when they're in elementary school now. Some of those math problems. I'm like, I wasn't doing that to like seventh grade. What like the hell? Pre-algebra in fourth grade. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so they removed about 200 episodes of Sesame Street. We don't know why. I don't know if they're classic episodes or what. But they also took off the uh, Elmo Tonight talk show in addition to all these cartoons. Uh, brought to you by the letters G-O-N-E, the content person <laughs> HBO Max funny. continues 
as the streaming platform has pulled 200 older episodes of Sesame Street. Uh, the removal of Sesame Street episodes and other recent content by HBO Max appears to be part of new owner Warner Brothers Discovery's belt tightening moves aimed at reducing streaming content payment obligations. So, okay, so you it, have to pay for Sesame Street. It could be pre, because Warner basically bought Sesame Street, right? Yeah, and they put it behind a paywall. Yeah, it could be that they have to pay, oh my God, these episodes have Kermit the Frog. And we don't want to have to pay Disney That's or true. Henson or whatever for Kermit. I don't know how the rights work. I just know that everything was a hell of a lot easier when Henson owned everything. Mm -hmm. And they, you know, everybody could cross over. And like Muppet Family Christmas is one of the best Christmas specials ever made. Fight me. And we'll never see anything like that again. Fraggles and Muppets and Sesame Street all together. That's how it should be. Well, this is weird. How they, how they, based on what did they cut these? Yeah, I so said as of Friday, HBO Max listed 456 total episodes of Sesame Street with a selection from seasons one, five, and seven, and the full lineup from the most recent seasons 39 through 52. Of those, only 29 are from the earliest seasons. Previously, the streaming service offered about 650 total Sesame Street episodes, including episodes from seasons two through four, season six, and those from every season between eight and 35, which I actually liked. Wait, so is, is, it, is it considered, you know, a racist -y or istophobia or something for old seasons that actually portrayed everyone? I don't know, because again, the original Sesame Street was much, much edgier. It was very I diverse. I mean, yeah, uh, it was. And it's funny because we talked about that with the Rosita situation. Like the, the very first characters you saw on Sesame Street, it was Gordon uh, with a little girl who was not white showing her the neighborhood. And, and most of the people in the neighborhood, except for Bob uh, and Mr. Hooper, who's Jewish, um, they weren't white. Mm -hmm. They weren't white. And it was 1969 and nobody gave a shit, right? Um HBO and Sesame Street Workshop first struck an agreement in 2015, providing new a new revenue stream for Sesame Street. So the, this looks like it's mostly their stuff, uh, the HBO Sesame Street thing, while granting HBO rights to run new episodes of the Landmark series before they appeared. Again, they paywalled Sesame Street, um, and they're through 2025. So yeah, okay, so they don't actually own it. They're, they have the rights to it. I, I'm still but not But still, again, why are we cutting on. this stuff? Well, if they have the rights to run them, does it make sense that they'd be cutting them? Yeah, they think that it has something to do with the rights. We're going to get into we're going to get into it with uh, Summer Camp Island here. The removal of Sesame Street comes after HBO Max on Wednesday said that at least 36 more titles will be leaving the service this week. That includes 20 original HBO Max shows, uh, Summer Camp Island, some Sesame Street specials. Warner said the decision to pull the titles from HBO Max were tied to the pending combo of the platform with Discovery Plus, which makes no sense because why would you have less content? Yeah, this doesn't make any sense. You know, it, it does. It's more appealing to subscribers to have more content. Um, and the speculation is, and this is we're going to talk about this with the shows too. They think it has something to do with the royalties that they don't want to pay royalties. And I'm thinking the older content they probably had to cut checks to people. For something, you know, and that's why they're. Well, do they though? Because here's the thing: there's, there's been a lot of uh, discussion about how older shows they had rights in there for like VHS and stuff. Now they wouldn't have in the sixty ones. Uh, it was in the sixties, but um, they usually had syndication deals. But they consider streaming something different from syndication, and that's why they, they got away without to pay Bill Nye and some other stuff because they said they considered that in the same, you know, play. They like, said the same thing is like you know. I don't know, like a DVD or something like that. Yeah, because back then nobody nobody realized, and they had a huge issue with Bill Nye, because nobody realized that uh, we were going to have streaming. It was right. Gonna be so, prominent. so if that was the yeah. case with more recent content, what the hell does that mean for stuff from the 60s that would probably just had syndication rights? So it doesn't make sense to me. Well, this could, this could I, again, this is all speculation. They haven't given an official reason. I don't think they're going to give an official oh, no, reason. they're not going to tell me about anything. But... You know, it could be a royalties thing. It could also be like you mentioned yesterday in the video about animation that they're looking to offload some of this content to like Netflix or Paramount. Now, back in the day, if I remember correctly, they actually had classic Sesame Street on Noggin, which was, I believe, owned by Nickelodeon or partly owned by I Nickelodeon. I remember Noggin, but I don't remember what was on yeah, it. Yeah, now it's an app or something. But they had like the classic Sesame Street on there. They've had, they've syndicated classic because most of the people that are going to watch it, it's not appropriate for today's children because it's too edgy but uh, it's not appropriate for today's children but it was more 
like I think you could argue that it was more um, inclusive then. It was. It, Sesame Street now is gentrified. It's for white Karens to plop their toddlers in front of the TV. And yeah, it's a very, very different audience than what it was intended for. The original Sesame Street was kind of gritty. It was urban. It was designed for urban kids to play catch up to their um, suburban you know, white counterparts, basically. I mean, that's what was you know, de designed to yeah, do. Yeah, we don't want to, you know, there's no way to put it that, that I don't know how else to put it. I mean, it's it, what it was. It, and that's not, that's not a, a racist. I'm saying it literally Sesame Street was designed for urban kids because they did not have access to the same caliber of education as kids in the suburbs. And that's why they had so many minority children in it because oh, they knew that was their audience. When we were kids back then, and obviously before we were kids, they didn't have the preschools and stuff like they have no. now. So a lot of kids didn't. I ain't got preschool. I, 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 I did. so much. I did. I guess <laughs> Any, I'm a reach. A reach. I'm a reach elitist. A reach. A reach. A reach, a reach, a reach. So anyway, let's talk about this animation. Um, some of the showrunners on these shows got yanked. Not happy about. It. They're like, wow, they just like memory hold these shows that we worked years on. And I get that. I mean, I'd be pissed too. But um, the theory I'm hearing again, I haven't seen anything that proves it but they think it's to save on residuals because apparently the showrunners of some of these shows get residual payments on streaming based on watch time or something that's why i've heard i don't know i can't verify that for 100 percent. that's a theory floating around um but apparently they're going to keep summer camp island on Cartoon and victor Network. and valentino victor and valentino so those two got spared yeah, so Cartoon Network, thank you for advocating for us, seeing the value in our show. That would be a better place on Cartoon Network anyway. Well, they, they were on Cartoon Network, and then um, they also ran all the Cartoon Network stuff on HBO Max, or most right. of it. Right, but what I'm saying is it's better, I think, putting, leaving them on Cartoon Network makes more sense. Yeah, I, I mean, it's just really confusing, because I don't know what's going to happen to Cartoon Network. I mean, they, they've, they've gotten rid of a lot of the, the bosses and the animation. It's obvious. It might just be that they're contractually obligated to let it run its course or whatever, I, I don't know, but um, this is uh, Julia Pot. Julia Pot, is she the uh, the showrunner? Um, yeah, creator. creator. Yes. Okay. So this is um, coming from Parrot Analytics. They said that the audience demand for Summer Camp Island is 3.1 times the demand of the average TV series in the U.S. in the last 30 days. I can't verify that or not. In the last 30 days. As soon as everybody found out about it, we're like, what the hell is this right, show? Right. And went to watch it. It went up 3.1%. Yeah, and I've seen I've seen a lot of people. Animation Twitter has completely lost their shit over this. Um, <laughs> you can just say Animation Twitter lost their shit. That's like every oh, day. Oh yeah, yeah. Now I, it's interesting though. Um, Vivzy Pop, I saw she was like, yeah, I I have to thank um, you know a twenty four for the situation with uh, Has Been Hotel because she's like, we don't have to worry about this. Mm -hmm. um, but again, this is the difference between doing your own thing on your own terms and selling your show to a corporation like Warner or Disney or whatever, they can do with it whatever the hell they want right, to do Right, exactly. It. And there's not much you can do about it. I mean, you, you cash the check. I mean, you could be upset, but there's literally nothing you can do about it. So, uh, and there might even be something in, in the contracts too, because I know the Megas XLR people, uh, the creators, they were trying to get the show back. They're making a fuss on Twitter about it, and then they pulled those tweets down. I'm wondering if they had like a non-disparagement clause or something Probably. in the contract. They can't be like, signed all this shit. It's yeah, ridiculous. and you can't even, you can't even complain about them you know, not giving the rights to your show back or whatever. So um, anyway, so that's where things are at. I'd love to know what the problem is with these episodes. I'm thinking. I have no idea. It's, 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 you know, Cause it's so know. weird. It's just so these, these, this, these seasons are gone, but there's still like 20 episodes left. I'm like, what was wrong with all the other ones? You know, it's just, there's, there's well, gotta be some kind of rubric they're basing it on. I don't know. Um, I mean, it could be they had celebrities in some of them, maybe that they didn't want to pay. I, I don't know. I mean, that was like the Muppet show. On Disney Plus, they axed a couple episodes. They censored some episodes. They put content warnings up, you know, on certain episodes. And um, <laughs> I don't even know. I, I don't even know anymore, guys. They're I don't coming even know. Sesame Street. They're coming for Sesame Street. So anyway, we're gonna wrap it up. Um, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye.